Aloha everybody, this is Kyle. Welcome back to Vision Quest Astrology. Thank you very much for joining me today. I uh, wanted to talk with you all about a topic that has been quite literally transiting my heart and um, it is a transit going on right now with the sun. The sun is transiting my 12th house. It is a transit we will all go through at least once per year, there's no avoiding it, and I wanted to share my thoughts on that. I think it's important to look at what is the 12th house, what does the 12th house mean? Representative of Neptune and Pisces, that mutable water, it is the end of the zodiac. The 12th house really bleeds into the first house in a lot of ways, you know, you've got the, the end of the chart and the beginning of the chart kind of right next to each other. I kind of like to call it the attic of the astrological chart, you know, the attic is the place in our house, if you have an attic, that is, where you store all the Christmas decorations and all of the old baby stuff and all of the things that you might bring down through seasons during the year, but that you keep away um, for the rest of the year. And it's all, it's kind of where you just put everything that you don't really have a spot for. It doesn't mean that those things have necessarily any less value. It doesn't mean that they're deemed as less worthy or that they're not important, but it just seems like there's no set place to really put them. They're kind of these in-between things that you're just like, I don't know where to put this. I don't know what to do with it. And the 12th house is definitely that. It is definitely a space of the subconscious and the unconscious, the things that are definitely felt but not necessarily seen if you want to call that a higher power or spirit or source or whatever your terminology is for it it's something you feel inside of you and it's something that really sparks your emotions and causes you to feel empathy or feel compassion or feel sympathy for someone else's suffering the first house we're dealing with ourselves, and we're dealing with our possessions and stuff in the second or our communication in the third, our emotions in the fourth, or, uh, and on and on and on. But it's finally in the 12th house at the end where we come into our spirituality. We come into, uh, we kind of are leaving the physical world behind for a bit and we're coming into what's inside of us. Where do we come from? Those bigger, more complex questions of life. We're dealing with dichotomies and paradoxes and things that don't really make sense because they're not rational. They're not practical or tangible to the human mind. They're not something physical that we can really put our finger on. And it's because of these things and many more why the 12th house is deemed with so much confusion. There's this feeling and sense of ambiguity. You just never really know what's going on here. It's one of those places where you really have to use your intuition to navigate through. Of having the sun transiting your 12th house, you're basically at the end of your personal astrological years. I find it's a time that you're really reviewing and taking stock of what the whole last astrological year was for you and kind of all the residues and things that got misplaced that you didn't necessarily, uh, you know, deal with or look at and the most proper way at the time that they were going on because you didn't, there was nowhere else really to put it, kind of like we were talking about earlier. You kind of see those things when the sun's in the 12th house, all of those subtle emotions and all of those feelings and um, energies, subtle energies that are at play in our lives um, can get misplaced here. And so when you're going through this transit, you might find that uh, you're taking a step back from your regular active participation in life, even if you're still doing the things you might normally do, you're gonna maybe feel a bit more introverted, a bit more inward and kind of really looking at the more inner subtleties of your being. Um, what, makes your, what makes your spirit vibrant? What makes your spirit happy? What makes your spirit come alive? You're really in the realm of mystical spirit here. And um, as you know, all woo woo and hocus pocus as that sounds, uh, I can't really find a better way to describe it. Because the 12th house deals so much with Pisces and Neptune, this is a time that is really great to connect to your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, your inspirations, your what really ignites your heart. And it's a great time for your creativity to really spark and to really hone in on what those skills are and what these things mean to you 
because I feel it is it is the house where dreams come alive. It's funny because it's the end of the chart, right? But it's at the end that we're then getting ready to birth into a new beginning. Because after the sun finishes transiting through your 12th, it's going to hit your ascendant and your rising and enter into your first house, which is astrological beginning, the beginning of the chart all over again, a whole new astrological year. And you get to start over. So kind of take that broom while the sun is in the 12th house and do some sweeping and red out and emotionally and energetically clear yourself of all the residue and all of the buildup and all of the things that are not serving you. You know, I've always thought of this metaphor, you know, when you take a bunch of necklaces that you don't wear often, I've done this before, you put it in a drawer and you'll deal with it later and all these necklaces start building it up and you finally open that drawer and all those necklaces that eventually were just one or two or three, it's turned into this pile of 20 necklaces that are all like gotten wadded up together and you can't even take them apart and differentiate which one is which. And that's what happens with 12th house energy is all this stuff is collected and piled up in there. And you can't tell which is which because that's the nature of Neptune and Pisces in the 12th house is this energy, things really blend together. And so you're going to feel the, the subtle vibrations of these spaces that are um, you maybe normally wouldn't pay as much attention to, that you maybe normally would not feel. And it's a time to really discern, okay, the, this space feels good to me. This person feels good to be around. This person, not so much. That's wherever the sun is transiting in your chart, that is where that particular month, the most energy is being focused on in your life because you have the light of the sun quite literally illuminating it, obviously. And so where the 12th house is so at the end there and kind of is easier to not recognize as much, at least for some people, for people that are more Pisces, Neptune, 12th house inclined, they may be more tapped into this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. But for people who aren't, when going through this transit, those subtleties are kind of now not so subtle anymore. That is why people can get kind of erratic and kind of start spinning a little bit out of control when the sun is transiting their 12th house. A lot of irrational fears that people have and a lot of things that really make a person tick kind of start really getting exposed and coming to the surface when the sun's transiting your 12th. Because um, if things that are normally subtle that are easier to not really pay attention to or look at, if they're really being exposed and having a lot of light shed on them, shit kind of starts hitting the fan. That's when the, dis the disillusionment of, of Pisces starts to come in and those rose-colored glasses have to come off and you have to look at the reality of the situation. It's like, whoa, you, it's like, what, what's even going on here? And it can feel like the walls are starting to cave in. Um, I know... I've had times with 12th house influences where this has definitely happened, not so much with the sun, but other ones, and it can be really disorienting. But in the highest, most benevolent expression of this transit, I think it's a beautiful time to really sit down, be with yourself, meditate, journal, work on your creative outlets and self-expression, and really take stock of what's going on inside of you, the emotions that you feel on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the, the energetic subtleties of the environment and spaces and people around you and yourself and um, just how you relate to you and where you stand with your spirit. We're, we're in a day and age where we're focusing so much on mental and emotional health, which is amazing and taking care of our bodies and our diets and our routines and regimens, but our spirit our soul that encompasses this body needs to be nourished and it needs to be fulfilled. And sadly, that seems to be the last, the last thing that people are thinking to nourish. And it makes me sad because our spirit is what makes us vibrant. It's what makes us who we are. We are a spirit. We are not these bodies. These bodies, when we die, quite literally in the 12th house, get left behind and that the realm of spirit and the realm of wherever we go next, whatever you believe in is represented by the 12th house. That is the next phase, even though it seems to be the end, the one we don't think about a whole lot while we're here in this incarnation. And so I urge all of you while the sun transits your 12th house to check in with your soul, check in with your spirit 
and, and see what is your soul asking of you? What is your spirit inviting you to look at and to investigate and to be with? And if that's going outside and taking 20 minutes every day to go for a walk and be in nature or to go plug in your, your iPod or your iTunes or your music, whatever you use, and just listen to music. Or if you make music, go play your piano or strum your guitar. Or if you're a writer, do some writing. Uh, go and read a good book that nourishes you. Do whatever it is that fulfills that in you. Go take a run if you're a runner. I don't know. Possibilities are endless here. We have so many outlets and that is the amazing thing in this day and age. We have so many outlets to do what fulfills our soul. So use these outlets that are given to you and, and make the best of them. So there you have it, all of my astro buddies. That is sun transiting the 12th house. This video could also apply to if you just have the sun and the 12th house in your natal chart, and it's always there for you. Um, I hope that you were all able to get something out of this video. I enjoyed making it. And talking about it as I am mean, going through this transit now, and it's it's a wild one. It's it's a really wild one. I've really been taking stock with it all. So as always, you guys, I would love to work with all of you. If you are interested in doing any kind of chart reading with me, you can find out information for that, my prices, and to book a reading at my website at visionquesthealing.com. Or you can email me at my astro email directly at visionquestastro at hotmail. Com. So thank you everybody for joining me and I will see you all in the next video. Happy transiting.